Good morning, Devin Jesse. I'm here at Soldiers Field Park where that body was found yesterday. It's been a busy few days for the medical examiner's office, and that man's daughter has reached out to ABC6 saying he's 69 year old Marvin Peterson. His daughter Lisa Hill says he had several health conditions, including thyroid cancer. Originally from the Twin Cities, he came to Rochester for medical treatment. Without a job and money for housing, he ended up on the streets. Police were notified of an unresponsive man near the entrance to Soldiers Field Park around 3 a.m. yesterday. Hill was contacted by the medicals, medical examiner's office later that morning and now says, quote, they say it could have been drug related because they found paraphernalia like tinfoil, but I never knew my dad to use drugs. ABC6 spoke to people who live in the area. They say they're concerned. I feel sad for, for people that that don't have, that are home insecurity and food insecurity. It's just a real issue in Rochester and, and I don't think a lot of people are aware of what a big issue it really is. Hill says her father's brother recently passed and she was one of the only family members he had left. She was planning to come pick him up and bring him to South Dakota where she lives, but never got the chance. Their last conversation was last week when they got into an argument. She says she wish it, it didn't end like that. And she also says that but he had his struggles, but there was a lot of good that he did and she doesn't want him to be known as some homeless man. She says she plans on coming to Rochester in the coming weeks to put flowers where her dad was found. As for police, they haven't officially identified him as Peterson, but we are waiting for that official confirmation. In Rochester, Sydney Zatz, ABC 6 News. Good morning.